Lisa, good morning, everyone. Of all the indignity heaped on Australia's largest bank, the Commonwealth, in the past month, a massive lawsuit from the government money tracking agency, Austrac, the resignation of its chief executive, a cut in executive bonuses, an inquiry by corporate cop ASIC, a cut to directors' fees, a possible class action, and now a formal investigation into its culture and processes by bank regulator APRA, there's something else to throw on the pile. It's this, the Commonwealth share price. Since Austrac launched its massive legal action against the Commonwealth, on August 3, the share price has collapsed. So at the close on August 2, the Commonwealth shares were $84.32. It was worth $155 billion, easily the largest company in Australia. Today, the Commonwealth shares start trading at $75.73, down more than 10% in less than a month. The company's now worth $139 billion. This is a big swing in less than a month. CBA has lost $16 billion of its market value. In other words, investors are already making decisions about how all this will affect future profits and the future value of our biggest bank. The insult is that late last week, the Commonwealth lost its title as Australia's biggest company to BHP. Now, to be honest, BHP's done a little catch-up, but not too much. It's more the Commonwealth has gone backwards in a very big hurry. Well, now the Commonwealth is proud about its 800,000 shareholders and the $5 billion a year of dividend it pays out to them. But the reputational issues of the bank have now cost those shareholders collectively, as I say, $16 billion. Markets, of course, do overshoot upwards and downwards, but for now, there are plenty of CBA investors preferring to park their interest until the dust settles on the Oztrack scandal and until that massive fine and the government inquiries finally do settle down. But I can tell you one thing, with such a big fall in the share price, more change in the board and management is increasingly inevitable.